It's getting harder to believe, but also exciting seeing uh, those Twins players at Target Field, Maxie. Jeff, I spent the afternoon at Target Field. I haven't said that for some time, <laughs> yeah. but uh, at least that was a sign. Two major leaguers, including Williams, Austin, Dia, and two minor league players have tested positive for COVID-19. They were quarantined. It was a strange process because we have not seen this before today. Start spring training, go home, come back to Target Field. You hope today provides hope on several fronts. The ballpark has stood a lonely reminder of what was until today. It slowly came to life. It felt like a spring training practice in a much different setting than Florida. But the repetitions were the same. Michael Panita was there. Mainly pitchers and catchers featured. Devin Smelcher's back trying to win a fifth spot. The rotation feels kind of good just to talk about things like that. It did have a different vibe given all that is going on and the Twins are trying to do their part to stay healthy. We had players that were in other countries as well. So I hope that's a, a reflection of uh, our players and staff all taking this very seriously, uh, wearing masks w when, when they can, uh, making sure they're, they're washing their hands as much as possible and limiting contact and social distancing. And hopefully that is a, um, that will give us a, a chance here collectively now that we've gotten back together. To there is still much uncertainty in this plan, and not just for players, but how about the umpires? I caught up with former Major League umpire Tim Cheetah for some of his thoughts. Tim Cheetah, it's a different year for baseball. What concerns you the most going into what we call phase two or training camp 2.0? Well, I tell you what, there, there are several things uh, that I think could come into play. Obviously, uh, you know, you and I have had this in common over the years. We're both kind of the uh, eternal optimists and, and you always hope for the best and everything. But, you know, overall, you're looking at the NBA, the NHL, Major League Baseball and NFL training camps are all going to jump in at pretty much the same time. And uh, I really, really hope I'm wrong uh, because I've been wrong plenty of times in my life. But I just, I'm, I'm in fear of a total disaster. What about umpires? Are umpires incredibly concerned about this? Because they're a little bit different sometimes demographic. Very much so. They're still, they're still negotiating whether or not they should stay at the hotels with the players or if they should stay at their own places. They'll be provided with car services from the hotel to the ballpark, uh, but their freedoms to uh, wander during the day are going to be uh, pretty much nil, if anything. And uh, for two, two months of that, that's a tall order for a lot of people in all professional sports. Um, I think it, on paper, everything looks pretty good, but I, it's, it's uncharted waters and a lot can go wrong. Is the biggest concern that once there's a test, positive test, how are they going to react? Do, I mean, we kind of know, but do we know how players and everybody else will feel? Yeah, I think it'll, it'll, it'll uh, uh, create some tension and some fear on the parts of guys that are, uh, I know for a fact there's, there's, I think, at least two staff members of the Major League Umpires staff that are type 1 diabetics who probably won't work. Um, and again, all the all the minor league umpires are just sitting at home with nowhere to work because the minor leagues are shut down. A lot to think about. Hey, tonight the St. Paul Saints start their season in Sioux Falls, and George Samas will again be in charge of the team, a team that won a title last season, and it's an opportunity that has kept him hungry and grateful. I love being here. It's been, what, 2003 was the first year, and you just never know year to year what's going to happen, and um, so I'm still standing here with you, and um, under these circumstances, but again, we get to play baseball. And not everybody gets to say that. Great to have some form of baseball back, Jeff Wagner. And uh, another comment Tim Cheetah had uh, as we talked to him yesterday was umpires teams concerned about coming to downtown Minneapolis because of all the civil unrest, something I hadn't thought about before because there won't be any crowds out there to help patrol it. That's true. I know we've had issues with that in the past, so we'll see how that progresses in the days and weeks ahead. Thank you, Maxie. And